bloom anamine blush may not be familiar phrases to the average user of epoxy resin, but almost all will have experienced one of these two phenomena at some stage in their resin career. Amine bloom and blush are both surface defects which negatively affect the final finish of epoxy resin surfaces. And because we always want our work to look fantastic, it's important to eliminate the chance of this occurring in your work. Out of the two, amine blush is the most common. Blush is caused by a reaction between the hardener component, or amine, and moisture and carbon dioxide in the air. Amine blush on a final piece of epoxy work looks like a textured spiderweb pattern. Amine bloom is similar in nature and is the result of surface moisture, causing the migration of the harder component. This results in a sticky, oily patch on the surface of the epoxy. Because both are caused by moisture in the air, you tend to find they both occur together. Now you know what it is, how do you fix it? It is difficult to fix it once it's already occurred. It is possible to scrub and clean the sticky amine bloom using soapy water or isopropyl alcohol and a scrubbing brush, but the result will not be perfect. Ideally, we want to stop the cause of both bloom and blush in the first instance. To do that, it's important that you first choose the correct resin. The longer the curing time of your epoxy resin, the more likely it is to experience amine bloom or blush by reacting with carbon dioxide and moisture in the air. In practicality, we see this occur often when a product intended for deep pore use has been applied at a thinner section and therefore the rate of reaction is very slow. The slower the rate of reaction, the more chance of amine bloom and blush. So for coating applications and other thin applications where we mostly see amine bloom and blush, it's important to use one of our rapid curing epoxies such as Vista Turbo or Vista Rapids. It's also very important to ensure the temperature is consistent and relatively warm. This will keep the rate of reaction high and will also prevent the risk of condensation caused by the surface of the piece of work falling below the dew point. Heat mats and propagators can also be used to maintain a good reaction speed and to prevent the temperature of the piece falling too low. So we hope that has helped you understand a little more about one of the more complicated aspects of working with epoxy resin. Ensure your working environment is warm and dry, use the correct resin for the product and you will love your Vista resin creations. If you'd like any more help or advice, contact one of the Vista team and they'll be happy to help.